So tonight we're actually talking about sex. Hey guys, what's going on? Omar Styles here, and tonight I'm here with my friends Simone and Vanessa. Just tell her to never watch this. Yeah. I want to talk about those sex dolls that everyone's getting. Okay, so oh, we're getting yeah. straight to the juicy part. I mean, I show value and bring more things to the table. So I'm not just worried about what you're having sex with. Like, I do more than that. <laughs> uh -huh. So, fuck that dog. Do you want to fuck it? Okay. <laughs> it's, not, it's not just about sex for me, though, but it's just like, I mean, the doll ain't cooking, cleaning, and. So, how much does size matter to you, Simone? <laughs> I'm big. Okay. Like, I'm 6'3", 250, but not yeah. really. I'm not really. <laughs> Don't say that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my. <laughs> you're supposed to be like, oh, my gosh, you're not that big. I'm supposed to. It can't be like, you know, some kind of like macro state. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a born-again Christian, first and foremost. Oh, but you're already here, so <laughs> we'll continue. I don't realize that there is an average. There is a world average. The average was like five. It was like the five or six yeah. inches, yeah. which is like that's that great. And it's ex but, like it, but it exists. But that's why people have preference, well, right? Like but the the thing that I realized it's is the like average of the world. Is oh, Asian. you're right. Like, and, and but yeah. that oh, would be now. So that means Asia, you're fucking up the average for the world. I was gonna say that's what you're trying to say. Wow, this is gonna go viral in China. We're gonna fuck us up. We're gonna fuck us up. It's like whatever you're working with, there's a fit for you, I feel like. You know what I mean? Or or a doll for you. I don't know. If whoever buys a doll, I don't think I wanna watch them having sex with me anyway. If you have to Okay, I have a question. If you meet someone and you start dating, when do you tell them you have an S T D? Huh? First become intimate. In the moment, <laughs> like, no, when, like when it leads up to that, like you like, oh wait, no, I got something to tell you. Okay, so <laughs> you better think that's the perfect time. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I was okay. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Why do you think that's the right time? When did that freak you out if a girl you was kissing on this was like, yo, by the way, don't go down. I have an STD. <gasps> what you saying? The moment y'all are like hot and heavy already. Yeah, I don't think that's the greatest. That's too late. Cause yeah, we're fighting at that point. Yeah. If you have, if you have HIV, like you need to like hold that shit into like. Don't be intimate, of course, but you need to make sure you love this person. Like you need to make sure you have feelings for this person, cause you're putting your business out there. Right, you know and what that's what I feel like the line is. There's a line between just telling everybody that you have something, like everybody yeah. that you meet, yeah. versus hey, Coming, I'm yeah. starting to like you, and I think that this could go further, so I should let you know. Mm -hmm. Right, and yeah. then that's when you can explain to them, you know, I, I didn't tell you initially because I didn't know how serious we were going to be. You wait until you know that you want to invest time into right. this person yeah. and actually, like, continue a relationship with this person because you waste all this energy getting to know that person and it's like, if it's going to go nowhere, why would you tell them, like, your shit? You right, like, right. So, yeah. You just kind of, I mean, I definitely don't think there's, like, a oh, third date or after nine weeks or whatever, <laughs> but... You need to figure out how to gauge it because I recently learned that you know people are detoxing away STDs. Let me not use finger what quotes. People mean? are detoxing away STDs. Basically, if you take certain, like for instance, in America, if you go to the doctor nine times out of ten, if you have whatever problem, they're gonna give you pills. Well, in a lot of like Caribbean countries and stuff like that, they use plants and herbs, and you know there are different things that that get rid of different things. Mm -hmm. So if someone detoxed away let's say herpes or whatever, are you still telling people like, oh, I had herpes, but I detoxed it? If you truly believe you detoxed it and you had it, I don't think you would because you think you're clean then. Right. And would if you, you truly believe it, and then let's say you go to a doctor and you like get checked for it and it's not there anymore, you're good to go. That means the detox worked, right? So do you believe that you could detox like STD? I personally do because there's that 
that he was a doctor. Dr. Sebi or CB? Yes, him. Who's that? He is a doctor, so check this out. Long story short, y'all should Google him by the Left way. Left eye. YouTube, 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 YouTube oh, him. Really? <laughs> but he pretty much got sued by the government or something like that because he was promising to cure cancer, AIDS, herpes, like all these kinds of diseases that aren't supposed to be curable. Yeah. And they were like, cool, bring us seven. I think it was seven people who you have cured, and he brought nine. Yeah. That were literally cured from stuff like cancer, AIDS, and stuff like that. He passed away, at, he was pretty old and stuff like that. Yeah. He, he had like a remedy and stuff like that, but these things aren't gonna go viral because it is not in the medicine industry's benefit for them to go viral because they're not gonna make any money. I do believe in that, sh in that stuff, but because we live in America, I believe it's really hard to get access to something like that. Okay, do you believe that it could be detoxed away? I don't know, I don't have any like experience. Well, yeah, I don't, I mean, no, not that's 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 No, with detoxing. No, I'm talking about with detoxing. I don't have a jaw ass. No, wait, wait, wait. Would y'all ever date someone with an STD? But, but, hold on, hold on, before you bring that, yeah. Like, bitch, what? Like, what? I'm I can see, I see. It depends on how much, like, let's say you fall in love. Let's be sensitive to our viewers, they're probably. I know, that's what I'm thinking. Let's say that you fall in love with them, you don't find out they have something until you're like deep in love I with them. I fell directly out of love. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. I think, I think, I think there is a... Uh, like, yes or no? There's ways to... I For me, it's really, it depends because I, I have to be open-minded like in the... I hate it's a word. hard pass for me. I, in the gay so community, okay. in the gay community, yeah, like yeah. when I remember when I was uh, young, like as a teenager, I went to like an out youth group, and I told this guy like uh, my parents don't want me to be into guys because they're scared I'm gonna catch like HIV or something like that. And he was like, "Well, you gotta realize that like even with technology now, you can be with someone who's HIV positive." And still never catch it, and that's my thing. So here's the thing. For but hold on, hold on, hold on. So for me, I had to this. I had to think like, okay, I cannot choose to not be gay because I'm afraid of HIV. Right. You know what I'm saying? But with technology now, there are pills like it's called PrEP, and I've actually been on it because it prevents you from catching it. So if you are on it and you have sex with someone who's positive, you're not supposed to catch the disease at all. Right. And it works, and it has been proven to work, and stuff like that. And so, like in high school, they're so quick to be like, girls need to get on birth control so that, you know, they don't have a baby. Why are we not putting people on these anti-STD pills? Yeah. Like, that's are what I'm not understanding. Are they bringing it to more awareness? Yes, like, like I didn't even know these existed. Yeah. And you also gotta realize there's a lot of companies out there preventing the push of this drug coming out because, because a lot of other it. industries are losing money now right. because you don't have all these sick people who are catching AIDS and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. yeah. So that's one of them. I think people don't need to be so scared about talking about it. You know, they're real, they're out there. Chances are yeah. you probably dated someone, maybe even been with someone who had yeah. like an STD and you didn't know it, you know. Yeah. I personally I would date someone with an STD if I love oh, them. Um, I definitely would, like, you would have to be uh -huh. someone that I'm going to be with probably forever. She's so no, I don't see, like, cause honestly, What's the word? it's not like that. It's not like I would just be like, oh, you know, yeah. you have, a, but honestly, you do, pe there's still people, there's still great amazing people with STDs and if you fall in love with someone if you take the necessary precautions to be safe with them you can still have a healthy loving relationship with them I feel like I would be know. frustrated because if I'm at the point of falling in love with you and you're just now telling me this yeah I'm frustrated that I made myself so vulnerable to you and you clearly didn't make yourself you at all you're the one that brought this question up I know, <laughs> her blood is boiling Let's talk about toys, and I'm not talking about the toys, guys, that you buy at the grocery store. I'm talking about sex toys. So do y'all think about them? Who, who, who not? Toys at the <laughs> grocery store. <laughs> what? what? Walmart, are those not grocery stores? First of all, my video's gonna yeah, go I'm big. I'm not going there for toys. Anyway, go ahead. I, I get what you got. Okay. There's toys. Extra. There's, there's, like se mean? there's sex toys at Walmart? No. Oh, that's, oh my gosh. No. So you're saying like for little kids? Right. Uh, I'm talking about, I'm not talking about the toys. Okay, first of all, let me, this is my best friend right here. Question. Let me just teach my best friend a lesson real quick. But as I, we're making a video about sex. If you talk about toys, no one's gonna think you're talking about Legos. <laughs> you know, there's some people out there that don't know any better. Okay, well, you didn't know I'm not a fan. <laughs> um, I'm not a fan, but my best friend forced me to get a dildo. Let me tell you guys why. I okay, that's such a, a great day. That was such a great day. No, no, I'm not gonna say go into your personal life, but let's just say sometimes people need a toy to distract them from the things that they don't need. 
Like that. <laughs> so I'm just being a good friend and protecting him. No, and I appreciate it. And I've only used it like one time. That's too much, but okay. You know. I'd rather have like the real thing. You know? So yeah. I mean we didn't get it. What do you think of it? Yeah. yeah. Like <laughs> what do you think of it? I think Do you so. have one? Yes. Does, I it, do. does it go up and down? <laughs> um, I'm not gonna go into like too much detail about them, but I do think that <laughs> I'm just I do think that they come in handy if you just don't wanna be out there like, you know. Catching shit. Catching shit, <laughs> Catching being on the streets. I mean, I think it's okay to please yourself. Oh yeah, I definitely think it's okay. Like it's I'm not falling with like the whole <laughs> sex thing, like the sex toys. For I'd yourself rather, or for I'd women? Rather, I'd rather just do it myself to a woman, you know what I mean? <laughs> Would you ever buy a sex doll? I would not buy one. Oh my gosh. I would not. How much are those? Like 5,000 something. Oh, really? Like in the thousands, yeah. Well, I mean, it's so real. Like, it's that crazy. shit ain't real. That shit laying there. Like, okay. But I feel like the hole that you're using feels the same in, in the, the $5,000 one and like the if you make it wet. $500 one. Like if you make it wet? Yeah, That's like, are you using it for that hole or are you using it for the water? How the rest of it looks and feels. If you're being intimate with a toy and you're putting your penis inside a toy and it feels good and you like grabbing the fake tits and the fake ass and everything and you enjoy it and you get off of it, that's awesome. You should do it. I don't think I could get excited over a dog, male or female. I wouldn't. I don't think I could get excited over I mean, a dog. Yeah. But where I think it's weird. If you start dressing this bitch up and have dinner with her, <laughs> if you're having, and that's what they're doing. If you're like having like, dinner with this chick, like in the kitchen table, you cook dinner for yourself and her, but this bitch ain't eating because she's obviously a toy. That's obviously a fake relationship. And it, yeah, I don't, I don't. Do y'all personally like like masturbation? <laughs> it's masturbation. I really enjoy men. Okay. I don't, I don't I think really women really masturbate as like men do. I think it's probably better for men, to be honest. I don't know. I mean, a lot of women do it all the time and absolutely Crazy love it. Enough. It's yeah. just not for me. Yeah. It's not really for me either. I don't have toys and all that stuff though. I don't have toys either. And but I think I, I might have carpal tunnel, so. What? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I can't really. Do y'all think women can be happy without sex? No. Like, <laughs> I can't speak for the entire uh, gender, but as for me and myself, I don't think so. How long do you? Do? I mean, but How at long the same can you time, go without sex? but at the same time, I mean, clearly, I was a virgin until X time, and I was living a great, happy life. I can be happy without um, sexual, and of course, all the time, like intimacy comes in different shapes and forms. But I honestly think, like, one of the greatest things that you can share with the person that you love is that connection sexually. And I think sure. I would want that with the person that I love. For sure. I respect that. Sure. I, I think you're right because there's there is a lot of times where like I may not be like sexually active but I may have the attention that I really need and that blocks the need to be like super physical because I'm getting some form of like quality time, you know? Yeah. I think can y'all be happy without sex? No. One hundred percent no. Can you be happy without sex? No, I gotta, I gotta have it. No, I'm saying you gotta have it. Every day, preferably, right? No, not, not every day. But preferably. Sometimes it's like quality time, but um, maybe it's just quality time leads twice a week. Yeah, so. I'm like, sure. Let's be honest. No way. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sometimes you just listen oh to one. Sometimes you just listen to one, and like you can have quality time, and, and it's yeah, just that that energy always. between you two, and you're just like, you know what? It's just I love that. Who, so <laughs> <You're laughs> me? No, this bitch. <laughs> okay, so what were you saying? Answer the question. I did, I did answer it. I'm sorry. Y'all yeah. just saw, uh, like, y'all just got I'm sorry. Oh, Mark's stupid. Okay, you said. Oh, no, you we were saying how often you have to have it. I mean, like, twice a week or so. That's good for me. Twice, twice a week? Twice a week or so. Oh. I'm good, like, every. <laughs> I think sex, sex, I'm good, like, I can deal with once a month. I can deal. No, I, I try. I, I'm not in a relationship. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm not like, I can try, but like, that's try. Like, it's hard. It's hard. Like, I, if it was up to me, a weekly cool. thing for sure, at least, <laughs> minimum, you know? Yeah. But because my, my situation is different than y'all's, I don't, I wouldn't want to do it every day. How's your situation 
and different from mine. Yeah. Mine game. goes in that hole that is not supposed to go. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying that you I'm can't. saying that I'm not about to give my shit up for three days, four days, five days in a row. <laughs> let me take a break. Yo, let me re out real quick, alright? I, 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 I need to relax. You said it's not supposed break. to go in, so you saying that being gay, it's, you're not supposed to be gay? Oh, don't get my words twisted. God just made it that way. It is what it is, but, but it still feels good. I just heard what he said. I'm just asking. I mean, it's, not, it's We're technically not, not supposed to go in there, but... I feel like if it really wasn't, wouldn't we? Why like, would it go? Why would it go in? Wouldn't we cook like spaghetti? <laughs> I feel like it is supposed to go. In. <laughs> 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 it's supposed to go. In. Like, shouldn't it be big? Like, like, why is it that big? Why is it flexible? I think gay or straight men like to stick it in there. So. Okay, you need to uh, not say that because men are gonna attack your ass. They're gonna be like, bitch, no, 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 I'm not. No, no, I mean, like, like not. I'm not saying they like it in there. I like think they oh, oh stick it into the butt. They like to stick no, it in the No, some guys don't. Straight. Some guys really? do not like it in the butt. Gabriel, do you want to fuck a girl in the butt? I would never. <laughs> no, no, no. We were actually talking about because we were like it goes back to what he was saying, and that's like where that's where my answer is coming from too. Dude, and then that's where he was. He was like, well, what if you and yo girl. You told her not to eat so much that day or so like I don't you know. eat you supposed no, to eat I heard like, there was like a cleaning out process yeah. for women or men like if you are an unhealthy person I'm talking you eat fast food all the time your stomach's gonna be messed up period no matter what you do <laughs> you're probably always having to go to the bathroom no matter what all right but, but if yeah, you eat, not going but if you, you eat, constipated if you ate that yeah if you're eating bad no, food, you actually I mean, don't go as much as you eat healthy well healthy. then exactly don't matter well maybe you're not going whatever <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Your so that's why you're stuck in it. Your your system is fucked up. Okay? <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. So, if, but if you eat regularly and you have a regular bowel system, and you, your stomach is gonna be bad. And so, it's like people have a misconception that like if you just do like do it in the back, it's like a nasty. I mean, don't, did you ever do it in the back? You've never done that. Absolutely. Have you ever tried? No. Okay. Well, you probably are with like I'm really really like, afraid of poop dick. <laughs> I'm so well, you also probably like you're the men you mess with are probably really well endowed, right? Why would you assume that? Because you're like really tall. I feel like they would be. That's it's true. A, it's a prereq. Okay, yeah. cool. So that 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 would that would tear your shit up. So you, I can see why. You know, oh my god! I do that. But um, but it's a misconception. Like it's really not. It, I've never had an experience where it was like I have heard stories. But I feel like those people weren't taking care of themselves, or maybe they weren't experienced. That's disgusting. Like, mm -hmm. if you ever like shit on a dick, that's how does that even feel? Like, if you're doing that, you just come on, you have poop on your penis. I'm gonna walk away. You don't. <laughs> what do you do? Yeah, like, what do you even? But do that's that the thing. Oh, I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna leave. I mean, I mean, but you I mean, know you're getting yourself into literally. Right? It's not gonna be like. It's not gonna be like. The never, thing never for anybody. Huh? And you're saying it's never gonna happen to anybody. I'm not saying it's ever gonna happen to anybody, but I'm saying like if it happens to you, to me, what would you do? If I were a man and I ended up with poop on my penis, I wouldn't be well, like, let's do it again. You had a <laughs> Next time. You've had it in your butt, right? No. <laughs> I had this bitch lying. <laughs> she put me on. <laughs> she put me on. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I, got, I put you on a big day. <laughs> no, you put me on taking dick. In college, I was like, Vanessa, I think I need to I put you shit. on because you said you're gay, and I'm like, well, then you need something a little bitch and take it in the ass. That has nothing to do with Um, What are some other questions? Let's see. What do you think about fellatio? Who's that? Okay, that's, that's obvious. What's fellatio? He said, who's that? <laughs> you know what fellatio is? Uh -huh. You need to really who? get it together. What is that? It's just the t formal term for head. Fellatio? Yeah, fellatio. He said, who is that? I've been fellatioing fucking years. Yeah, you so have. <laughs> okay, so well, how do y'all feel about a guy who does not give head? Like, <laughs> she's so offended. But he's like, I don't, I don't do that. Do a lot of women won't until he does. So yeah, yeah. we gonna figure that out real quick. Yeah. If you love to do it, just like that's great. You know. Impressive. She went from like, I don't want to be in this video. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's much better when he wants to do it versus the guy who's like, oh, I have to do it. Yeah, like. Uh, I, would, yeah. Uh, I, I do. Uh. Gabriel, what does pussy taste like? Good, especially when they're cleaning everything. Okay. I like when they when they clean everything. They really take it. And it tastes like like they eat like when they eat fruit and everything. I'll be down to air. 
I'll be off like a long time. I get lost. <laughs> so real, what bro. kind of taste though? I'm gonna tell you like I like that shit. So what kind of taste? Cake. Mm. Like if you could compare it. Go ahead and plug it. I mean obviously it's like it's <laughs> in the skin, but like, you know what I mean? Like Like skin. Yeah, I can I can understand that because I mean when you I'm telling you, if you're talking about eating it like that, you might as well plug your Instagram and get your DMs popping. Oh, they kind of pop. How long I'm before you send someone to do? Kidding. Yeah, how long I'm before you send someone? I don't send nudes one personally ever. Huh? How long nah, before you, you want to see me? See me in bed. Yeah, I don't send nudes. Yeah, that's something I don't do. I feel like. So what do you do when people ask you to do? And I don't. And I don't ask people you know, to send me pictures. I think that's like this stuff. Yeah. But back in my heyday, when people used to ask me for nudes. I used to Google Ebony nudes and I would like zoom in and like. <laughs> That's kind of smart, but bro. Like, guys have done that to me, and I found the same dick on Google. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll message the back like, "Hey, yo, bitch, your dick is on Google. Are you famous, though." <laughs> like, like what the fuck? Yeah, I've never thought about doing that, but honestly, I haven't had a lot of men ask me for any kind of nudes, to be honest. And I think it's because yeah, I'm too old for that now. I'm one, I'm too old, and two, I've never ever done it, so maybe this not like I shouldn't ask. But I did have a guy that say send me a picture and I was like, okay, so I sent him like, you know, cute little picture. And he a was selfie? like, no, not that kind of picture, like another picture. A selfie? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I was like, uh, no. Stop texting him. That's it. I send nudes like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. And I've seen a couple of you nudes. They need to see this the ass nice before they... Do y'all have sex conversations with your family, like with your parents? Oh, let me tell you this. I, me and my grandma, my, me and my grandma, we very open, so like... Oh, wow. oh my gosh. Like, you be my talking to his grandma My grandma shit. be talking to stuff about me and like what she be doing. Sometimes they, my grandparents, they married 45 years and they still have sexual activity. Go! His That's, grandma looks Hey, beautiful. everything I learned about my sister, I learned from my grandparents and they's real shit. They, they'll tell you how it That's is. That's goals, they married they that long. Down, so. and it's crazy. I love their shit. I love wow. the relationship and everything. So you tell your grandmother about your sexual experiences? No, I haven't, but I heard them. Oh, I thought that's what you were saying. No, I'm saying, like, would what? you talk to like your grandparents, whoever, right? Like you know, whoever you're closest with, do you oh, talk I, to your family about sex? Yeah, when I like before, like when I was a virgin, and everything, I would like um, first off, I'll go to my grandpa, my grandpa, obviously, and he would just be very open about it. Matt, what, what you need help on everything, and then my grandma was like, uh, wow. she would give me a different terminology and everything, and then everything just played out. I feel like depending on like your culture, like sometimes you can be more open about certain things with your family versus other cultures. Like I know specifically my family being from a Hispanic background and back Latino background, like we just really didn't talk about that in the house and we never really brought it up. I think it was like subliminal like messages like be safe, mija, or like be careful, but we don't ever talk about it. I think now my mom kind of is a little bit like talk to me about it or I think she wants to but I'm just like I can't I just shut down my mother because I love her I respect her so much and I just don't want her to know I mean, well, don't worry about it. you don't have to talk to her about it because you'll watch this video and she'll know everything oh, <laughs> I'm sorry mama I love you oh my god especially your mom oh, your yeah. <laughs> my mom will blast me on Facebook if I say something like a little bit like funny or sexual joke oh, I'm like my, I my need daughter to man. Man. <laughs> also my cousin's a pastor Oh, and I'm kind of scared about her watching this video too, but I am not, you know, I'm no less than anyone else. I'm an adult. I mean, I know what you mean. My mom went from like being with my dad, then being with my stepdad, and she had some issues like in her relationships in life. And so she would always tell me like, hey, be single. Like, don't mm -hmm. get in a relationship, be single, make your money, live your life. And she would say that over and over and over again. And I started to think the other day, I'm like, damn, like, I'm single, I'm getting older, like, and I'm okay with it, it's whatever, money. like, I want a relationship, don't get me wrong. But I started to think, like, damn, my mom programmed me to be single and independent. And I feel like that was a good thing, because she was looking out for me. But it was also like a curse, curse too. Though. But it also was like a curse, yeah. Because I'm so used to being like on my own, you know what I'm saying? So like, I do know what you mean. Now for the thing about talking about sex, um, I don't, I don't think I talk too much about sex with my family. I don't even talk to them about my sexuality. Today, my mom actually did say, she's like, hey, don't let men use you. Don't pay for men's stuff. Yeah, I buy them liquor and shit. And I was like, I was like, why are you randomly <laughs> saying that to me or whatever? But but she said man, and she doesn't do that very often. Mm -hmm. She'll say person or girl before. Yeah. She the fact that she said man is like she's coming more to terms of like accepting that I may end up marrying a dude, you know. But 
talking about sex, I don't think so. She always told me to be careful. Now, with my like cousins, because they're all becoming like young adults, it is kind of hard because like we're so close in age, but they're becoming young women. And so they want to like ask me things sometimes, like, hey, what is this? What is that? Have you ever done this? Have you ever done that? And as open as I want to be with them, because you know, we are like best friends, there is that guilt conscious, like, I probably shouldn't be telling you this, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. Mm. But I do want to be open and I do want to be there for them to where if they ever need anything from me, like advice wise, if they ever have an emergency, yeah. whether it's like relationship or, or not, I want them to be able to pick up the phone and be like, yo, I need the help. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel that way with your family? Um, my parents had me really young, 15 and 16. So very early on, they were like, are you having sex? Are you having sex? <laughs> yeah, two siblings that are right under me. Um, and I know like, my brother is less than a year younger than me. We used to be like, ain't nobody trying to be like y'all. Like, no, yeah. I'm trying to, you know, be grown, live a whole life. Ain't nobody trying to have kids young. So I didn't even, I mean, even though my mom was, my mom was always pressed about whether I was or not, I really wasn't. My aunt was like, hey, let's get an apartment together, da da da. Your aunt? Yeah. And I was like, girl, I ain't trying to be next door to you moaning and screaming and to me. Yeah, like, and I ain't trying to hear you either. Like, we are not living together. <laughs> and same with, like, Vanessa. Like, Vanessa's mentioned, like, let's move in together. Like, I don't want my best friend hearing me. Right? That has happened to me. I had a one roommate in college, and I was in my room minding my business, and her boyfriend was, like, at my door listening to me. It was so Are you weird. Her boyfriend? Yes. And she so knew weird. that? Yeah. And she was cool with that? I guess. I wonder if it was like a funny thing or if it was getting him off. It was probably getting him off. I've definitely heard college roommates. Guys, I'm really glad <laughs> we're having this conversation because I don't like the fact that sex seems so taboo to talk about. Like, we're talking about sex. So, oh my god, you're a nasty person. Like, everybody has sex. It's like, everyone has sex. Your mama has sex. Everybody has sex. sex with, whether it's with your hand, with your doll, with whatever. Time. Nobody yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people are gonna watch this and be like, oh my god, I can't believe. You know, it, it happens. You have sex all the time, probably. Tell us your favorite position in the, in the comments below. Um, <laughs> you can tell me very What did y'all say? I don't know what, what I'm gonna do with that unless well, what, you're like I, a total I mean, stallion. Uh. Shut your, uh, <laughs> what's your opinions? Like, what are y'all? I mean, I, I don't know. You really wanna know? Fuck it. I like this one. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> He's right here, like, yeah, yeah, beat that shit up. I don't or, know. I like it like this, like, like this, and his face is right here. Like every female. I'm not doing that. If you're an adult and you're not a pervert having sex with kids underage, okay, crazy. what the fuck what is talking about? I don't know, I'm also very tired, so. I was gonna say, sex isn't taboo if you're like, of it's age. not, I don't. I don't feel like a lot of people think it is. I don't feel like people be watching this video like, oh my god, I can't believe they're talking about this. They're so like such rebels. <laughs> no. Talk about it, they get uncomfortable talking about That's that. personal. I oh, love talking about me sex. too. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I mean, there is a time and a place. I know a few people. You get uncomfortable talking. No, about I love talking. I talk about it literally all the time. Yeah. She was on the floor, fucking air the other time we talked about it. Where you were? <laughs> she was like, <laughs> Oh yeah. I, was I love talking about sex all the time. I, some of my friends don't. Like, I actually have friends that are just like, mm, I'm okay. Yeah. I don't have any of those. I don't feel like our friendship would make it very far. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. I'm nasty. <laughs> I'm very nasty. You date this dude, y'all having sex, and it's like it, the sex is not like what y'all expect. Kind of like, what do you do? Like, how do you balance it out? Bye. Yeah. <laughs> like, y'all continue dating him um, if he's not as like, freaky enough or what? How do you Why are they assuming that I'm freaky? No, like the guy, if he's not like he's not doing what you want. But if he's not pleasing you the way you want to. Yeah. My thing is, don't. How do you balance it out? I'm. Okay. Uh. I'm not an instructor and I don't give tutorials, yeah. so don't like ask me questions about what I want you to do. Like, oh, can I touch you here? Should I do that? I like do that. you like this? Like, you just need to know what to do. I need you to do that. Uh, you don't really need to tell me twice. Do you uh, tell them when you like something? Like, if they do something like particular, you're like, oh, sh oh, whoa, this. and you tell them afterwards, like, hey. That was good. Like, do that. Oh, for sure. Or yeah. I'll be like, today, that hit game, that was a one. Hey, it's like, you like, <laughs> that, that new trick you did, that was, that's Take your ass to Red Lobster. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a professional.
necessary. I'm not gonna try to tell you, hey, I might say, hey, or I might show you that I'm, it's kind of like, eh, I might It depends on how bad it is, too. Like, so it's, man, it's like a mad quiz, you gotta study for it. And okay, so that's what I was saying. So, one of my questions is like, is there a sweet spot for a number of previous sexual partners that the person has ever had? Because obviously, I feel like it's sort of like a resume. Like if you graduated from college and you go get a job, but you don't have any job experience, you're not getting the job. Oh, At the yeah. same time, if you have a hundred jobs on there, you look like a, a job hopper. So sexually, when you want to date someone, if they've only been with one person, zero people, are you like, hmm, we need to get your experience up a little bit. But at the same time, if somebody's doing that's like a hundred yeah. people, you're like, okay, that's a little bit too far. So yeah. like, what's your? That's a good point because honestly, if I was with a sexual partner who was just completely like horrible, whatever, it was like kind new of to the game. Yeah, but then you, yeah, you can tell a sexual partner who just really like, really just find out it or whatever, good at it, or who's been around the block or two, like. You're gonna want the one that's like in the middle, like in, the, in between. You don't want someone like. But some people are like, oh, I can train them and do whatever I want. I don't have time for that. I feel like I feel like if you if you if you're good looking and you're fine and, and your your stallion is kicking, I might work with it. Like, I, I'll, I will take the time. To <laughs> and we're dating, dating. Man. You're a good man. I will. Omar got a caring heart, man. Y'all better. Fuck. <laughs> the best friend has a big heart, guys. But but what I was gonna say was, I'm not a resume person. I'm an entrepreneur, so I don't have a resume actually written. I have a big resume, but I actually write it down. So I ain't I ain't asking for your resume if you ain't asking me for mine. <laughs> 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 yeah, how do you feel about the numbers? I, I don't ask. I don't, I don't ask either. either. I don't care about your past. Because yeah. Um, whatever you did before me, that is what it is. Yeah, just yeah, don't, exactly. as long as you're not bringing it. If it don't come between you. us, right. we don't have a problem. Yeah, if you don't carry the it baggage with you, us, it's cool. Out the door. What if they're carrying like a kid? That's Look, man, the thing about a kid, I'm not trying to be um, involved with the stepdaddy yeah. issue. I'm not trying to play no part in it. So if you have a kid, I'm sorry. Uh, nice I don't know why, like, like they'll, they'll be coming to me. I'm like, nah. <laughs> I understand, like. I'll just be friends, like, I'm, I'm not. Tell them to eat you, hang up to Dang, she eat with Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get no um, I've dated lots of guys with, let me not say lots. <laughs> I've dated, I've dated I a couple number. guys with kids. Yeah. Um, I did. A number of guys. I haven't had to deal with baby mama drama or anything crazy like that. It's always been a copacetic situation for me. Um, I'm not trying to raise no kid that's not mine. And I hear you. Yeah. It, it, it but, need to be all 100% me. Like y'all were saying about being in love for the STD. I would rather have a kid than an STD. Yeah, <laughs> for real. <laughs> I wouldn't mind being a stepmom if I fell in love with a man. Yeah. Oh, but that. also with this kid, it depends on the age. I would love to <laughs> Because be if you have like a, a six month old, I'm not, I'm not jumping into that. Yeah. You say it'd be what? It depends on the age of the kid. Oh, okay. Like I need that kid to be old well, enough to where like y'all look at the I need to be at least three. Who be trained. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like if, if you just Can broke up with the mom two bad. weeks ago, the baby just came out, it's all And if you're back I'm and forth, if you're back and forth with your baby mama, daddy, don't. Yeah. Don't. That's just too much. You I need, need y'all to be like, no, we're not together. It's not going to work. We're happy co parenting. I need them she to be remarried. She's not pregnant by somebody else. She engaged. Something like that. Like, not that pregnant by somebody else always matters, but yeah. people do like to go back to what they know. <laughs> Yep, how do y'all feel about that? About what? Y'all backtracking? About I was gonna say, how do y'all feel about people going back to what they're used to? Going back to yeah, what they're used to. I think you already people are comfortable. Yeah, that means you. Oh, like me going back to someone you guys feel like messing with. Exactly. Yeah, I think yeah. if it was good and we were just at different points of our lives, let's get back to it. Why not? Mm -hmm. You know. But I think if it was like some baggage to where like you hurt me, I hurt you, we broke each other's hearts, or we cheated each other, or, or one or the other, yeah, or you know something like bad, like <clears throat> no, we done. Yeah, I think sometimes you just get so used to someone, you get so comfortable that you mistake it for like feelings, and it's really not. I wouldn't really backtrack unless it was like someone I dated like a long just, ass time ago for a very short period of time, and we we're just like, eh, you just like backtracking, it would just be like the lust, you know? Yeah. It's like it's like being in love with the idea of wanting something to work. Like hit it once, you can hit it. You know, but I'm it's, not back right it's not gonna work. Yeah, sometimes you're just in love with the idea, not actually. Would y'all ever get involved in a threesome? No. 
I have one. Wait, two guys or two girls? Obviously, two girls. That's not obvious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, two girls. He said, oh. <laughs> I mean, trains happen every day, B. Yeah, nah, these are. Choo choo. Choo choo. No, I, I actually grew up with two females. Um, from elementary, intermediate, all the way to high school. So, yeah. Wow. Would you ever do two guys? No. Not would you do two guys, but two guys, one girl? No. I was, I talked to uh, some straight guys before. I got offered one time, but like, I just turned it down. I, uh, I was talking to some straight guys before about, you know, two guys, one girl or whatever, and they were like, bro, do not touch me, bro. <laughs> but they did it. <laughs> not look at me, like, no, but like, we can't even graze each other. <laughs> but they did it. No, he was just saying he yeah. would, but that's what he was saying. He was like, you know, don't touch me, don't look at me, like, yeah, we're not going in the same hole because our balls might smack, like, don't do none of that. What? Not only that, but the shaft would touch, like. That's true. No. I feel like I feel like you have an open for the rest of your life. <laughs> I feel like if you're she open to be doing a threesome and you're doing it with another dude and a chick, yeah, you can go in with regulations, but the point of being a threesome is like just enjoy it. Like, don't even worry about if your shot touches. It's not about that. You're in this chick, and both of you are enjoying her and touching each other. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> As long as not making out while she's giving y'all both head, then nah, that's, that's, that's different, you know? Because he was like, because I was like, I think I said something like, what if like he's about to tip over and he grabs her? <laughs> oh! Wait, what did you say? Like, mm -hmm. if y'all are both on the girl, but he's about to fall, so he like grabs you, he was like, no! Nah! Like, like, then honestly, if it's that bad, I feel like, I feel like there's something in his head that he's afraid of. Yeah. He, he might be afraid of being kind of attracted to Yeah, liking yeah. it. Which I think I we're all afraid of. Thing. I think we're all afraid of a little bit of part of that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. People might not, you're not afraid to be attracted to a woman? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think women are beautiful. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> I wouldn't, I can't be with a woman. I just, I'm not like well, intimately like attracted, like physically attracted to them. But I do think women not are I'm not afraid to be attracted to not men and not my thing. That's the plain simple. That's how I'm going to put it. Yeah. It's not my thing. But, but are you afraid? Because I know it's not my thing. I know you know I'm trying Cause to Because I know what I like. <laughs> I know me. <laughs> you know what does bother me? When, when people ask me, they're like, um, you never how do you ever go with a girl? Yeah, how do, you know how do you know you don't like it? And I'm like, hey, yo, bitch, have you been with a dude? Like, he's like, no. I'm like, well, how do you know you don't like it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you know? Yeah. You don't know. So it's like you can't ask that because it's, it doesn't work. Because yeah. I could be with a girl, and I probably would like it. It's a place to put your penis in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, same hole. But, you know what I'm saying, like, at the same warmer. time, it's like, it's what you, what? Did you hear what she said? <laughs> it might even be warmer. No, it's just wetter and warmer. Wetter and warmer. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I mean the back hole. I didn't mean that hole. Oh, never mind. But, it, see, every, <laughs> that's another thing, though. Everyone likes different things, because I know dudes that, like, they definitely love to be inside a vagina, and that's it. They've been inside buttholes, and they don't like it. I know dudes who have been inside buttholes and they like it more than being inside a vagina. So I think it depends on the guy and their their personal strengths down there. What? <laughs> personal strengths. I lost you, bro. I lost, I lost personal you. Personal thickness, The conversation man, was bro. a threesome. Oh, I cannot have a threesome. I'm too selfish and I don't want to share. I feel that too. I'm not gonna lie. Two guys? Nope. Oh, that would be a lot of work. It's too much work, man. I don't need no one touching me. I thought about it again. Me See, I, I, I've, I've been asked multiple times. And Wait, what? Two, I've been asked to be, to, oh, be, have you? to be with two guys. But the... Have the, you? No, I've never done it. The one time I considered it, he wanted it to be two, like, bottom guys. And I was like, not cool with that. I was like, no, like, we're not about to both... You don't have to dig. What's like, no. bottom again? The guy who takes, who takes it. Takes it. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, you shouldn't be in this video. <laughs> you didn't know what fellatio <laughs> was, okay? What? Yeah. So you didn't know what fellatio was. Bye, Felicia. Just kidding. All right, guys. Thank you for watching Omar Styles. Our section tonight was lifestyle, and make sure you subscribe. <laughs> I had a really good time with you guys. We had a great time too. Make sure you guys get tested. We just want you to be living your best lives. Really hope y'all enjoyed this sex conversation. Hope y'all learned a little bit more about it. <laughs> Make sure you guys like us, subscribe to Omar Styles, and follow us on all social media platforms, and you can find that underneath the video. <laughs>
I'm gonna put their Instagrams underneath the comment, so definitely go follow. Alright, have a good night. Bye. <laughs>